Good morning, Carl Bauer. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Happy to do it. You're with Kelly Blue Book, and you guys are the gold standards of finding out about anything in the auto industry. What do you know today for us? Yeah, we're going to talk about hybrid uh, technology and hybrid vehicles and, and how you can utilize them to the best advantage. They are really doing well in the marketplace, Carl? Yeah, you know, they've struggled a little bit because gas prices are so low, but at the same time, uh, their pricing has been dropping because they're getting less expensive, the technology is getting less expensive to produce, and uh, I think even with lower gas prices, people still like the idea of spending less on it and being cleaner. We're, I guess we're in a season where you roll out the 2017s now, correct? Exactly. 2017s. This is a 2017 Prius Prime that I'm standing next to here, and uh, it's, uh, it's an all-new uh, design for a plug-in hybrid. Well, tell me about that, because that, that car is popular on its own. Exactly. The Prius is one of the best-known uh, hybrids out there. It's been out for, you know, since 2001 and, the, and the, really took off in the mid-2000s as a popular alternative to uh, traditional vehicles. This is a plug-in version of it, and it's brand new, redesigned for 2017. And it's got a larger battery pack and more powerful motors than even the standard Prius, so that it can go 22 miles on a full charge without using any gasoline at all. So it'll drive that far before the engine has to kick on, and then the engine can make it go over another 580 miles, giving you a total of 600 mile range uh, on the vehicle, and uh, you know, giving you a lot of options. You can run it in pure EV mode, you know, whereas an electric vehicle, and you can hit a hit the button inside to change it, or you can run it as a regular hybrid. Are there more stations to accommodate the cars? I see more in my area. There are. That's the other great thing about using vehicles that have a plug is that, you know, you don't have to plug this vehicle in. Even if you never plug it in, it'll get over 50 miles per gallon. But you have more options to plug it in and get the better benefit of the pure EV operation. And, uh, you know, it'll only take about five and a half hours to charge this on a regular uh, outlet in a garage, even if the battery is completely depleted, and it'll only take a little over two hours to do it on one of the higher voltage outlets that you can find at a lot of these public charging places or you can have installed in your house. So the public charging places is like my supercharger for my phone. I've got a supercharger and it charges is really, really super exactly. rather than over just the regular charger. That's what the public places are for? Exactly. A lot of those public places have 240 volt uh, chargers, which is over twice what your average house has, and that gets the battery charged up much quicker. Learn something new. Is there another car that's making waves in the market? You know, I think, uh, I think a lot of cars right now are popular in terms of uh, SUVs being popular, that they're doing well. That's why uh, a lot of the hybrids and the sedans are struggling a little more for sales. But there are people, like I say, who realize that um, you can get a great deal on these cars. This car starts at uh, around 30000 is what it's going to start at, and then you can get a $4,500 federal tax incentive on this particular car. So the average new car is 34000 The SUVs and trucks are more than that, typically. And something like this ends up being a quite a good deal. Uh, you can lease it for, for uh, a, great, a great rate and have those uh, incentives rolled right into the lease to help you keep the cost down. Let me ask you one more question, Carl. Do you think these will be pitches? You know, we see car commercials all the time, but I don't see a lot pitching the hybrid. Or if they say it, they'll just gloss over it real quick. Will that be a feature that they'll be selling? Because when you change your language, that's why I'm so worried about this political contest, when you change your language, you change the mindset of the people hearing the language. Yeah, and you know, Toyota's done a great job of promoting the Prius. That's one of the reasons it's done so well. They've got a great website that's set up that you can go to and see all the features for this vehicle. And I expect they'll have uh, an effective advertising campaign as well because you know, they've, they've invested a lot to create this, this vehicle. It's very advanced. It's the most advanced hybrid they've ever made. And I'm sure they're going to do a lot to make sure there's awareness of it. Okay, I'm sure you told us, but once again, is there a place my audience can go online and find more information? Sure, they can go to toyota.com and there's a fully interactive uh, subset of their website that's just about the Prius Prime with a lot of great uh, features you can check out. Or they can go to where I work, Kelly Blue Book's site, kbb.com backslash prime. And again, they'll find all sorts of information about this Prius Prime and other uh, hybrid vehicles. Carl Bauer with Kelly Blue Book. Thank you so very much. I love it. I might check out some cars this weekend. Great being on with you. Thank you.